Our goals have stayed consistent. That number one, we want to uncover the truth. Number two, we want to provide a safe platform for victims to come forward and have their voices heard. And number three, we want to hold the University of Michigan accountable. Our law firm now represents more than 50 victims. The clients that we represent love and cherish the University of Michigan. Some of our clients are still employed by the University of Michigan. Our clients have expressed to us that they don't want to be alienated or punished by the University of Michigan, and they don't want the University of Michigan to be dragged through the mud with this investigation. In respect of our clients' wishes and requests, we have developed a legal strategy to accomplish our three stated goals by working with the University of Michigan directly while maintaining our clients' confidentiality and not resorting to a public lawsuit at this time. We're aware of a lawsuit filed earlier today. At this point, we believe that we can accomplish our three stated goals and maintain our clients' confidentiality and our clients' wishes without filing a public lawsuit. At this time, we are advising our clients to contact the Eternal Attorney General so the state can conduct an investigation as well. So this morning, we met with the lead counsel for the Steptoe Law Firm, who is conducting an investigation at the request of the university. And uh, the primary purpose of our meeting was to express to them some legal concerns that we have about the investigation, about how it's being conducted, and about how they intend to ensure confidentiality of these victims' identities. Uh, at the current time, we're advising our clients to not talk with the Steptoe Law Firm. 